I, I, no country has a monopoly on great ideas. No country has a, a monopoly on, on, on great people. And one of the things we've worked really hard at DARPA is to the extent we can, is to open things up. As technology is getting a bit more ubiquitous, <coughs> and I think as other countries are coming online and getting more tools and more power, that you know, sort of American dominance uh, 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 as that. I think people are worried about it because it's flattening it. I, I guess I don't view it that way. I view it as technology is a gift to the world, and I don't understand. So we can all get better from it. So I, I guess I'm not threatened by it at all. And if it gets a, but if it gets us in gear and we build more great stuff, like, I'm all for it. If you talk to scientists of a certain age, they will all talk about Sputnik, right? They will all talk about it. Or seeing the moon launch, right? They'll all say, oh my goodness. And I think um, we need that age of wonder again. We need, I, what, sp what sparks technology is not showing STEM scores. It, it, it's not talking about we need to do this or we need to beat this country or that country. That's not what it is. You need this sense of wonder when you look at something and think, oh my goodness, that's amazing. I want to be a part of it. And I think that's our job. I try, you know, hopefully we can build these things.